Under the guise of the American government, we each, as an American citizen, have the right to be anything we wish. Under the current administration, we have people who are understanding our rights in every way, our civil rights, our dignified rights, our human rights, every day. You see, as a human, you have various forms of life balance. And life balance is something that is often talked about across the world, around the world, and on every television stage. At some point, probably Oprah even did a marvelous job talking about it, or even maybe Ricky Lake, possibly even more Publish, but maybe Larry King. Who's to say? The truth is what we're looking for in the world today is more life balance. Other countries, like in Scandinavia, they do a really good job at helping people to not only make a really good quality living, but make life balance work for them. And in life balance, the way that I have been schooled in it, the way that I have expanded it, the way that I've thought about it, I feel fully wholeheartedly that the letter, the number eight, which is often turned on its side to make an infinity mark, is the number of areas that make an infinite amount of life balance. I'm always preaching and I'm always teaching that life balance is based predominantly on the foundation of faith or some form of philosophy. And we can steal the PH sound out of philosophy that's really an F and say faith or philosophy. You have to have a faith in something greater than yourself or a faith in a philosophy that makes you want to do well in order to have the foundation of your life. The next part of that concept of faith in life is having a partner, a marvelous life partner that is made for you in every way. And while I had a teacher at one time named Annie, who was sort of a marvelous preacher and a marvelous minister in a different way that openly taught me a lot of things about metaphysics today, what I can say to you is that she didn't teach me the pendulum. The one that I love more than life itself or have at least done so in the past 10 years of my life is the one that taught me that tool. And she introduced me to the tool after going to some girly girly conference. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Bring it over to the house and show it to me because I don't understand. And with that, she did. And I became a totally new man.